we're looking at two German police officers. They're flanking a, a couple that are, is being publicly humiliated uh, for being in a relationship. This is a, a public shaming. The uh, Jewish man is wearing a, a sign reading, I'm a defiler of the race. This photo was taken in July 1935. I share this image with police officers because I, I want to ask initially, how, how could uh, the police describe their, their function here as ordinary police work? You know, initially some will say, well, this isn't police work because they're thinking of, of what this is. So I, I, without sharing context, I want them to, to look at this and tell me how might a police officer in a situation like this be able to describe their role as ordinary uh, police work? Um, crowd control. They'll say, uh, uh, this is crowd control, or uh, this is a perp walk, or um, uh, deterring, or uh, this is a public demonstration and they're, they're keeping the crowd back. These are things that they would say. But afterwards, I'd reveal to them that this was unusual for police to be used in, in situations like this for public shamings. That would normally be the SA. The SA was the paramilitary wing of the Nazi party who, before the Nazis came into power, they, they were the ones beating up people in the streets, you know, during elections. And, and afterwards, after the Nazis came into uh, to power, uh, they would accompany uh, the, the police forces, uh, oftentimes being appointed a, or deputized as auxiliary police. So even with this image right here, the SA were, were the ones that put this sign around this couple, paraded them around the streets, and at the end, the police arrive. I'd also ask, what are the police, uh, how else would the police describe their role? Many would say they're doing their job. They, they were uh, uh, following orders. They're upholding the law and enforcing the law. This photo was taken in July of 1935. The laws that would make this couple's relationship illegal aren't passed until September of 35, the Nuremberg Laws. And so what that means is that the police here are not enforcing the law because this, this couple's relationship is, is taboo, it's frowned upon. It's not something that, that's in, uh, against the law at this moment. I'd ask, you know, what's changing about the policeman's role here? Uh, there's an absence of civil protection for for Jewish citizens, but also they appear to be, you know, enforcing Nazi ideology, not a law. The impact that that has, uh, uh, their presence implies government sanction. So those citizens that are around there watching that, you know, for themselves, if they know that, hey, these people haven't done anything wrong, so why are the police doing this? It can change their, their thoughts on, on what's happening, because remember, the, poli the people trust the police. If they trust the police, they have to be doing this for a good reason. Those people must be criminals. They must have deserved this, or times are changing. I better not do what they did because I don't want that to be me. This is how, uh, when things are changing are all around them, people will walk a bit differently. You know, um, they, they're not going to do what they were doing previously, or they may just hide what they're doing. So part of the reason why many officers continue to go along with these policies as they were being passed, their motivations uh, weren't, uh, you know, based on Nazi ideology. Um, some of them were for um, careerism, you know, being able to, to continue to climb the ladder. But also there's this peer pressure Many of their other colleagues are continuing to go along with that. So that becomes, you know, the norm. So if, if others around them are doing it, uh, it, it becomes harder to, to push back. And, and that's even somewhat true uh, for how I, when I ask this question for them today, is if others are continuing to go along with it, it's, it's easier to, to see it as, well, maybe this isn't a problem. Uh, but then there's also societal pressure because things are changing throughout Germany, not just within uh, law enforcement. So if they didn't want to be seen as against the country, 
These are things that are changing. But one of the main things, one of the main reasons for why uh, police uh, continue to go along with this was job security. Because as we know, the depression is still going on. Jobs are not easy to come by. So going along with this, they're securing their job, they're still being able to take care of their families, but also, this is 1935, well before, again, what we generally think of when we think of the Holocaust. So they don't have that foresight, like how, how we know. None of that has happened yet.